Hello. Today, we are going to visit one of the oldest towns in the United Kingdom, with roots dating back to Roman times. It is also famous for having the largest collection of Thomas Hardy memorabilia in the world. The name Dorchester originates from the Roman period when the town was known as Dernavaria. This Roman town was established on the site of an earlier Celtic settlement. The name Dernavaria likely derives from a Celtic word that might refer to hill with water or place with water. Over time, following the departure of the Romans and through the evolution of language, Dernavaria transformed into Dorchester. In 1834, Dorchester became famous for the trial of the so-called Tollpuddle Martyrs, a group of farmers convicted for forming a trade union. The trial took place in the old Crown Court and is a key moment in British trade union history. More in my other video, which I have linked in the description. Monbury Rings is a Neolithic henge that dates back to around 2500 before Common Era. Originally, 
It was a ceremonial circle used by early communities for rituals and gatherings. It is one of the best preserved monuments of its kind in the UK. The site gained literary fame through the works of Thomas Hardy, who featured it in his novel, The Mayor of Casterbridge. Today, Malmberry Rings is used for various cultural events, including concerts, theater festivals, and open air performances. Borough Gardens, established in 1894 as a public park, are renowned for their diverse flora, including numerous flower beds and trees that change with the seasons. The Fountain Inn Borough Gardens serves as a war memorial honoring the residents of Dorchester who fell in the First and Second World Wars. It was designed in a neoclassical style, featuring elegant and symmetrical details. Did you know that Dorchester, despite its relatively small population, is home to as many as nine museums? Here's a quick overview of them. This is the Keep Military Museum.
The museum is housed in a grade two listed building that served as the gatehouse for the depot barracks of the Dorsetshire Regiment. Spanning four floors, it presents 300 years of military history, including extensive metal collections, uniforms, weapons, and even Hitler's desk. One of the interactive highlights is a walk through World War I trench, providing a vivid educational experience about trench warfare. The rooftop terrace offers spectacular views over Dorchester and the surrounding Dorset countryside. This feature allows visitors to not only immerse themselves in military history, but also enjoy the scenic beauty of the area from a unique vantage point. The Teddy Bear Museum houses one of the oldest teddy bears, named Michael, who was made in 1906. This bear is based on the original teddy bear design and pattern, making it a significant piece in the history of teddy bears. The museum features an enchanting display of famous teddy bears from literature and television, including Rupert Bear, Winnie the Pooh, and Paddington. This collection spans over 100 years. Walking just 100 meters further, we come across the Dinosaur Museum. It was opened in 1984, holds the distinction of being the first museum in Britain dedicated solely to dinosaurs. Visitors can engage with numerous hands on exhibits, including real fossil displays and feely boxes, where they can touch and feel different dinosaur artifacts. This makes the museum a fun and educational destination for all ages. The Tutankhamun exhibition in Dorchester was the first of its kind in the world to recreate the tomb and treasures of Tutankhamun. The attention to detail is so high that the exhibition has been featured in numerous television documentaries and publications worldwide. Once we have visited all the museums in the capital of Dorset, we should direct our steps to places that guarantee rest and relaxation. One of them is the area around the River Frome.
While in Dorchester, we cannot miss places associated with famous people and events. We are approaching one of such places. The plaque to our right indicates that this house is reputed to have been lived in by the mayor of Casterbridge, a character from Thomas Hardy's novel, The Mayor of Casterbridge, written in 1885. This plaque commemorates Tom Roberts, a notable artist born on this street in March 1856. Roberts is renowned for his depictions of Australian life, making significant contributions to Australian art as a leading member of the Heidelberg School movement. Another plaque commemorates George Rackstrow Crickmay, an influential architect who along with his firm Crickmay and Son, significantly contributed to the architectural heritage of Dorchester in the late 19th century. Entering the capital of Dorset from the north, on the left, we will see a monument to the author of such novels as Tess of the D'Urbervilles, Far from the Madding Crowd, and Jude the Obscure, Thomas Hardy, who made many famous places in southwest England, including Dorchester. Approaching High East Street, we see on the left the 15th century St. Peter's Church. Although its oldest part dates back to the 12th century, the church houses several significant monuments, including the 17th century sarcophagus of Sir John and Lady Williams. We end our walk today in the vicinity of Brewery Square, 
a vibrant shopping and entertainment complex in the town center, offering shops, restaurants, bars, gym, cinema, and hotel. Dorchester is well connected to other parts of England, with regular train services from London and Weymouth every 30 minutes. You can also get to the town by National Express coach. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the latest films. To conclude, here are some photos from Dorchester. See you soon. Thank you.